Hi friends, Mr. Kevin here from the Children's Museum of the Low Country in Charleston, South Carolina. And I wanted to show you a fun art activity that you can do at home with materials that you might already have. And if you don't have these materials, you can get them next time you're at the grocery store for just a few dollars. Now this activity is called shaving cream marbling. So as you can probably guess, the first thing we're going to need is some shaving cream. And you want it to be foamy so that when you spray it out, it'll be like a big fluffy white cloud. We're going to need a tray with some sides to spray our shaving cream in. We're going to need paper. You're going to want more than one piece of paper, but you want them to be small enough to fit in your tray. So you might want to cut some pieces of paper beforehand and make sure they're the right size. You're going to need a piece of cardboard. Mine's from a cereal box. We're going to use that to scrape excess shaving cream off. We're going to scrape it into a bowl. And we're going to need some sort of color. You can use food coloring, or liquid watercolors. And you can either drop them straight out of the food coloring onto the shaving cream, or you can use a dropper or a straw to suck colors up like this. Stick your straw in, you cover the top with your finger, and when you pull it up, it will stay in there until you lift your finger, and then it will drop out. So I have some red and some cut up straws. I have some blue and some green and orange. And then you're gonna need something to gently swirl the colors with. So I'm gonna use a craft stick, but you could use a chopstick or a fork or a toothpick, whatever you have. Now the first step, you gotta take your shaving cream and shake it a little bit. And you're gonna cover the whole bottom. a nice even layer of fluffy shaving cream. And you can make an observation with your sense of smell. Mmm, it smells so fresh and clean. And then we're gonna put our colors in. We're gonna drip the colors all over green, and some blue, and just drip them on. There'll still be lots of white, and that's okay. We don't want it to be too many colors. And some red. And once you think you have enough, then you're gonna get whatever you're using to stir the colors. And you're just gonna drag it through in a zigzag across, back and forth, so that it very gently mixes the colors. That's what makes it marbled. Instead of stirring it and getting them all mixed up, we just want them to be a little bit mixed up. Then we put our paper right on top. 
of our shaving cream and we gently push it down. Gentle. And then we peel it back up. <gasps> and it will have lots of shaving cream on there. So we have to use our cardboard to scrape it off. You scrape it into your bowl. And it will leave the colors behind. And they'll be marbled into beautiful patterns. Like this. Ooh, I got some red and some blue and some green. And they're all swirled around. And then you can add some more color and try again. This time I'm gonna do some orange. And some blue. And some red. And just like before, you drag your stick through. And do some that way, and do some this way, and one this way, and one this way. And then I lay my paper on, gently press it down. And then I pick it up and scrape off all the shaving cream into my bowl. This time there's lots of color. Ta-da! Look how beautiful. This time I put lots of red and a little orange. And if you want to start a fresh layer with some new colors, you just spray more shaving cream on top. So fun. Then you have a blank canvas and you can add more colors and try again and see what new design will come out. And you just have to let your pictures dry for a little bit because they're just a tiny bit wet from the shaving cream. And then wash your fingers and you'll be all done. Hope you enjoy doing some shaving cream marbling. You can share your pictures with us at hashtag chsplay or explore CML. Bye friends!